So once we're logged on, uh, we have this screen or one that looks like it up. Uh, and we want to do our first post, and we do that through the posts button. When I go to posts, I see every post. I really can't do anything, and I don't have the authority to do anything with these posts. I only have authority to do things to my own posts, but I can see all the ones that have ever been published on here. So I'm going to click Add New, and the editor is very, very basic for WordPress. Um, it allows us to add a title. It up here and then we have text that we can add down here we can add um, other audio video files down here but really we're just going to work here and here in these two areas as well as a little bit on the right hand side so our first post is just an introduction post on ourselves so first post by me any anything you want to put up there and anything you want to put in there in text and basically the the assignment says that you need to add um, text and a picture and that's it and you have to add it correctly so um, i just added some text i'm going to add a picture in here and show you how to add a picture text you can edit here or you can do it on Google Doc and copy and paste it in here. However you want to do it is fine. You can see there's normal buttons for bolding, italics, um, for making bulleted lists, for indentations, um, just like normal. Now, uh, there's different styles over here. Normally you're just going to use standard style. You can see this is a draft right now. Um, and then there's some categories over here, and we're going to want to make sure that we put things in the right category. Everything you do is an NTIT review in one of these categories. Your first real one's going to be a motherboard review, uh, and this one is just going to be uncategorized because we're going to actually remove it uh, after you've done it, after it's been graded. So... To add a picture is the first thing you want to do. Text is pretty obvious and pretty easy. We're going to show you how to add a picture. You just click Add Media. And it says Drop or Upload Files here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a file right there that's in my um, in my Pictures folder. Once we drop it there, it shows in my Upload a File. These are all things that are in the Media Library that have ever been updated, uh, uploaded. So now you see it's checked, I'm going to add that. But over here on the right-hand side is the details on it. Um, you can add a title to the picture if you want to, so you can find it later. Um, and here's what we want to know. Do we want to align it left, center, right, or no alignment? Do we want to link it to, for instance, this case, the full-size media file? And then... Maybe we just want to put the thumbnail. Do we want to put the full size image in or a smaller version of the image? So if we do full size and insert the post, the link is going to take us to the same thing. Whereas if we do thumbnail, it's going to be smaller. Now, that's what it looks like right now. I'm going to click on it and then hit edit again. Because when I click on pictures, I always want them to open in a new tab. So you need to go back to it after you've inserted something and click open link in a new tab and then say update. Now to see what this looks like, I can hit preview up over here. And it says I'm an avid hardware person. If they click on it, they get the picture of uh, him eating snow. And you see it says the name of it is gliffy.gif. Now I can go back and edit this. I'm just going to close that down. Um, if I want to change what it looks like, I can go back here and say, you know what, I really didn't want the thumbnail, I wanted the full-size image. And when it's full-sized, if it's an animated one like this, I get, I'm going to see the whole thing. Whereas if I size it down, you see the animated GIF doesn't work. So if I use any kind of animation, I need to use full-size. And I can take away the link. Since it's full-size, I can say no link, and uncheck that, and now... Clicking on this does nothing, and if I want to preview what it looks like now, now this is what it looks like. So that's all you have to do with this assignment. You have to add a title, you have to add some text, and you have to add a picture to show me that you know how to add those things. I'm going to go back here. One of the things on the rubric item is that you make sure that you put it in a category 
and I'm just going to make sure I put this one in uncategorized. And in general, you're going to make sure that you put it in the correct category under NTIT reviews for the assignment at hand. And then once I'm done, you can see I can save the draft that I'm working on. In order for anyone to see this, I have to publish it. So when I hit publish, now it's actually on there and I can change it at any time to, by updating it again. If I come back here and edit it, whenever I hit update, it goes again. And if I look right here, here is the permalink to the assignment that you're gonna use to actually submit your post. Uh, and you need to remember to do that every time you do a post, you have to copy this permalink, permalink right here and put it into your assignment so I can just click on it to see what you submitted. Well, that's it for editing in WordPress. It's really easy. You can play with any of those things. It doesn't hurt anything. Uh, you can always delete it by hitting move to trash and start all over again if you want to. Um, but that's it for creating a post in WordPress. <laughs>